months and 12 hours, students who struggle to buy food will get some help. New at 11, people at Indiana University South Bend were putting the finishing touches on a food bank tonight. They want to make sure students don't have to worry about their next meal. WSBT 22's Heather Black is here now. And Heather, when will this food bank open? Well, Rick, it's scheduled to open tomorrow from 10 to 2. I talked to a few student volunteers who let me take a look behind the scenes before the doors open. Our vegetables and our soups. Volunteer coordinator Andy Trowbridge is organizing shelves of food, preparing for the opening of the first food bank on Indiana University South Bend's campus. Because we're all really excited about it. It's like, you know, we can do this. We weren't expecting to open this soon, but we kind of got really excited with the huge turnout we had last Saturday with all the donations that we got. The food bank is no larger than a small walk-in closet. Despite the size, the volunteers know this small room will help students who need it most. Well, the, you know, the joke is that a lot of college students, you know, all they eat is, you know, ramen noodles. And that's what they live off of. And that, that joke actually has a lot of truth to it. So a lot of people have, you know, they're trying to do, you know, school. They're trying to work and trying to afford, you know, rent and all their other bills. And food just gets left by the wayside. IU South Bend students, faculty, and staff will have access to the food bank every Monday and Friday. Volunteers say they'll be able to take a certain amount of items. Volunteer Kayla Heckman says they're even offering food for babies. I know that there's a lot of single mothers and things like that on campus and having like this resource to help with food or diapers uh, while you're, you know, working or going to school full time. If you're someone who struggles buying food throughout the week, Heckman wants you to take advantage of the free food. A lot of the volunteers um, are going to be using the food bank as a resource as well, so it, it won't be anything that like you'll be like judged for or, you know, looked down on because you have to use the food bank. And those at the food bank would like to provide hygiene products, especially for women. They're also hoping to get more diaper donations to help out parents on campus. Now, if you'd like to donate or learn more about the food bank, click the story on the WSBT 22 News app. Rick.